Hello friends and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making the fluffiest cinnamon rolls you've ever tasted. Soft, airy, with a deliciously generous swirl of cinnamon filling. These rolls are super easy to make at home and I'll guide you through every step to get them just right. So whether you're a seasoned baker or just starting out, get ready for your kitchen to be filled with that cozy cinnamon aroma. Alright, let's get started! To start, warm up 3 quarters of a cup of whole milk. It should be filled warm, not hot. Pour it into a mixing bowl, then add a quarter cup of sugar and two and a quarter teaspoons or about seven grams of quick rice yeast. Give it a good stir until everything is dissolved. With quick rice yeast, there is no need to let it sit. We are ready to move on to the next ingredients. Next, pour in a quarter cup of melted butter, followed by one whole egg and an extra egg yolk. After that, add about 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once everything is added, give it a thorough mix until the mixture is smooth and well combined. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients. Gradually add 3 cups of bread flour. These cups shouldn't be packed or overly full, just lightly scooped as shown in the video. This will help create the perfect dough texture. After adding the flour, sprinkle in a teaspoon of kosher salt. Start mixing the dough slowly, either with a stand mixer and dough hook or using your hands until everything comes together. I start by mixing with a spoon and then transfer to stand mixer. The dough is very sticky, so be patient if you are kneading by hands. Knead the dough for about 8-10 to 10 minutes until it's smooth, soft and elastic. It should pass the window pane test, meaning you can stretch it thin without tearing. Once your dough is ready, take it out and gently form it into a bowl. Lightly grease your bowl, place the dough back in and brush the top with a bit of oil to keep it from drying out. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm spot for 1 to 1.5 one hours or until it has double in size. Now let's prepare the cinnamon filling. In a small bowl, mix together half a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Set it aside and we will come back to it once the dough has finished rising. Once the dough has doubled in size, gently punch it down to release any air bubbles. Transfer it to a lightly floured surface and roll it out into an 18 by 12 inch rectangle. This size gives us plenty of surface area to spread our filling. Take 6 tablespoons of softened butter and spread it evenly over the rolled out dough, leaving a small border along one edge. Then sprinkle the cinnamon sugar mixture over the butter, pressing it down gently so it sticks to the dough. This step ensures that each roll will have that perfect gooey cinnamon swirl. Now it's time to roll up the dough. Starting from the long edge without the border, roll the dough tightly into a lock, keeping it even as you go. When you reach the edge with unbuttered border, pinch it gently to seal the seam so the roll hold their shape. Once rolled, cut the lock into 8 equal pieces. Place each piece into a greased 9 by 13 inch baking dish, leaving a little space between each roll to allow for rising. Gently press each bun down to even out the height, which will help them bake more uniformly. Now cover the baking dish with a clean towel and let the rolls rise in a warm spot for 30 to 45 minutes or until they are puffed up nicely. After this, you have the option to refrigerate the rolls overnight if you want to bake them fresh in the morning. If you are ready to bake them now, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we will bake them right away. Once the oven is preheated, bake the cinnamon rolls for 30 to 35 minutes. 
While the rolls are baking, let's prepare the frosting. In a mixing bowl, add 2 tablespoons of softened butter and 4 ounces of softened cream cheese, along with 1 teaspoon of lemon juice and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat everything together until smooth and creamy. Next, gradually add 3 quarters of a cup of powdered sugar and continue mixing until the frosting is completely smooth and fluffy. If you see your cinnamon rolls getting darker but they are still need more time to bake, cover them with foil and continue cooking until they are done. The internal temperature should reach 194 degrees Fahrenheit. That means they are fully cooked and ready to come out of the oven. While the cinnamon rolls are still hot, spread the frosting generously over the top. The warmth of the rolls will slightly melt the frosting, making them extra gooey and delicious. Now they are ready to enjoy. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.